Meat Boy is back because today we are making a bun mi sandwich. Vietnamese, usually pork or chicken on a nice soft roll with pickled vegetables and a spread, either mayonnaise or liverwurst. I'm going to show you guys my take on the banh mi based on health and nutrition as well as ingredient access. So let's get started. So in here we just have an organic French baguette that I picked up at the bakery. We're going to put this on the side for later because there is a decent amount of prep work that we have to do. A pickle for the vegetables and a marinade for the meat. Some of these ingredients may look familiar if you guys watched my Chinese dumpling recipe video, so hopefully you don't have to go out and find this stuff. But the main attraction, star of the show, is Iberical Pork Tenderloin, courtesy of Frankie's Free Range Meat. This is so delicious, guys. I feel like it's almost a sin to marinate this, but we're gonna do it anyway. And we have some liverwurst uh, from Frankie's Free Range Meat as well. Guys, I'm sorry we are sold out of this in the pork share, uh, so hopefully we have some more in two or three weeks. Uh, but I will also do uh, one half of the sandwich with mayonnaise, give you guys a comparison just so you know. Now most recipes will use a combination of daikon radish as well as carrot. Sometimes they use onion and I'm just going to do a pickled white onion. Everyone has access to these. You don't have to go crazy trying to find organic versions of daikon radish, which is not really worth the trouble. In the pickle for the onion, we're going to use some sugar, some salt, and vinegar with a bit of water, a very basic pickle. The marinade on the pork is going to be my take on an Asian marinade. We have organic toasted sesame oil, which is traditional. We have some fish sauce, which is traditional. Uh, coconut aminos, which is a substitute for soy sauce, and they use tamari and some other stuff as well. And we're going to use a bit of honey as a substitute for the sweetener they typically use. Now you could really use basically any cut of chicken, any cut of pork. I like the tenderloin because it's easy. And we're going to leave this whole, then we'll grill it and slice it. Okay, so we're going to do about a quarter cup of the coconut aminos, about a tablespoon of honey, a teaspoon of fish sauce, then a tablespoon of the toasted sesame oil. And then we're just going to put about a tablespoon of salt. So we want this to marinate for at least like eight hours ideally. So for pickling this onion, we want two cups of water. I'm crazy, so I'm using glass bottle mineral water. We're gonna use a quarter cup of rice vinegar, and you could really use white wine vinegar, champagne vinegar, don't have to be too particular, apple cider vinegar. And then we want about a tablespoon of salt and a tablespoon of sugar. So this is a, a classic quick pickle, just salt, sugar, acidity to bring out the flavor of the vegetables. We have this on the stove just to dissolve everything. So while our pickle is on the stove, we're going to slice up our onion as I want it on the sandwich. Just cut the onion in half and then we're gonna go kind of down as thinly as possible. So after the onion sliced, you can just pull apart the strands. All right, so the salt and sugar is dissolved. We're just gonna put the onions in. These can sit however long you want, hour or two minimum. So our pork has been in the marinade most of the day. We're out here with a nice wood fire grill to get some amazing flavor on this. And even if you don't do a marinade, as long as you have a wood fire, this sandwich is going to have amazing flavor. All right, so we're gonna let the pork tenderloin rest for a little bit. It looks nice and charred on the outside. We're just gonna strain our onions that have been pickling. I also like to, to rinse the extra vinegar off. So then we have our French baguette and it's pretty soft, uh, but for a sandwich, we want something really soft. So we're just gonna pour water on this and then throw it in the oven to steam it. For this, I just put some parchment paper in the bottom of the oven, 275, 300, takes about 10 minutes. So we just took our bread out of the oven, it's cooling off. We're gonna take our pork tenderloin and start slicing it up. Now, since the quality of the Iberico tenderloin is so high, I do eat it uh, raw to rare, but that's mainly because I'm usually really impatient when I cook. I took a little taste of the pork, very moist, excellent char flavor on the outside. Marinade is not too overpowering. All right, so we're gonna do two sandwiches. One is gonna have the liverwurst and one's gonna have the mayonnaise, just in case you guys don't have access to this. I think we actually have one pork share left, so. Uh, probably be gone by the time you guys watch this. So we're just layering some pork on the bottom. This one I'll put plenty of mayonnaise. And we have our liverwurst, which is 
very fatty and very porky. The final touch is some of the pickled white onions. And as I said earlier, traditional vegetables are daikon, carrot, and cucumber. I really don't like any of those vegetables, so uh, I decided that we would just use some white onion. So first we're gonna try the mayonnaise. It's tasty. I would definitely layer on a lot more pork and onions. So with the mayo, it's pretty good. I'll give it a 7.5 out of 10. Liverwurst is definitely better. 8.25 out of 10 on the liverwurst. If my parents fed me stuff like this, I'd be nine feet tall drowning in Russian pussy. Anyway, uh, final verdict is gonna be mayonnaise and pate. With the mayonnaise and the liverwurst, still very good, still very good, about the same. Um, you know, combining both of them doesn't really make it any better, but having the liverwurst on there, that extra pork flavor, the fat, very, very, very good. So the liverwurst really makes the sandwich, guys. I probably wouldn't go out of your way to make it if you didn't have it. And uh, if you aren't familiar with what liverwurst is, you basically take all of the pork bones that still have the meat on them, boil it down, and then you, you know, scrape the meat off the bones and then grind that together. That's what liverwurst is. There's not actually liver in it. Uh, so hopefully you guys enjoy this recipe and maybe it gives you some creative ideas uh, to make high quality, healthy, and delicious meals. You can go to frank stefanocom to support me through all of my businesses. We have the Iberico Pork and one pork show left on uh, Frankie's Free Range Meat. We got the salt on there as well. A whole bunch of other interesting products on the other websites, guys. Check it out, frank stefanocom Outside of that, please drop a like on the video. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week. And be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my next video. Thanks for joining, guys. And I'll see you for tomorrow.